I have a demo for you today on how I apply my 3D flower marini. Um, I work in chips, uh, not the ones that are pulled to point, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I have just a barrel of black here. It's encased in clear for the demo, and I'm going to have um, a pink flower that we're going to do. So I'm just taking a stringer of opaque pink glass, and I'm going to place a dot on my barrel smaller than the chip that I'm going to use. You always want to make sure your dot is smaller than the, the chip size you're using or else you'll see it kind of oozing around the sides of your chip and you don't want that. I'm just going to press it down to the base. I have my chip preheated on a warmer back here. I'm grabbing that and I'm still going to warm it in the back of my flame just in case. While I'm doing that, I'm heating that pink dot that I've placed, getting it nice and hot. And then we're just going to center it and push it down. Make sure it's nice and secure. You don't have to push it down in very far, but just make sure it's really secured on there. And then we're going to take clear. And I'm just going to put a very generous dot of clear on the very top of the chip. You don't want it to go on the sides and you don't want it to go on the base, just the very top. Put a little bit more. Okay. Then we're going to turn this upside down and we're going to warm the chip and your clear dot there until it's nice and glowing and then flip it up. And you want to center that clear glass on top of that chip so it's kind of a muffin shape. And then as the glow starts disappearing out of that, I take a doming punch and I just push down on that. Not all the way down, um, but you see it perfectly blooms your flower. We still have that ring of clear around there, so I'm just going to take my brass tool, I have a little brass knife here, and I'm only working on that ring of clear glass, and I'm working very, very cool. My Moretti chip is pretty cold. And all you want to do is bring this clear around the edges of your chip and very slowly warm them until they reach down to the base. And I'm just warming it very, very slightly. I'm still pretty cool on there. Just remember to heat the rest of your bead up, keep that warm so it doesn't crack. But what this is doing, it's pulling those petals down, but keeping them from smushing. You're just rolling them really back on the chip, and they're staying nice and opaque. They're not feathering out. They're staying nice and round. There. Just make sure it's all the way around. And then I just give it a nice warm because you'll have kind of some bumps in there from pressing down. And there you go. You'll have a perfectly bloomed flower. Just remember, work nice and cool. They do make a tool other than these little doming um, punches. Um, I think it's called a stylus for lamp workers. I just happen to have these out of a, a dapping doming punch set. Um, and I like just to use all the different sizes. I generally use one of these that's the same size or just a little bit smaller than my chip. So there you go. I hope that helps.